Well, they're certainly going to cooperate at least for the next two days. Monday is what we've been giving you the first alert to all week long. And here's the excessive rainfall outlook for Monday. Notice Connecticut in that level one risk, but just to our west, a level two risk. We'll have to watch to see exactly where the model trends uh, go over the next, say, 24 to 36 hours, because that'll give us a better idea of where the heaviest rain actually sets up. The European model showing some of those higher rain totals and take note of these yellows in parts of Connecticut. This is through Tuesday morning, whereas the American model keeps a lot of that over portions of northern New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and uh, downstate New York. We'll be watching closely. You can always get updates throughout the course of the weekend, too, from the free WFSB weather app. You'll also have access to, of course, the radar, first alert live radar, scanning clear and dry right now. And uh, meteorologists Jill Gilardi and Scott Gagliardi will have updates for you, too. Over the last six hours, we've been hard-pressed to see any cloud cover across New England. Dew points still in the 40s and lower half of the 50s inland, mid and upper 50s along the shoreline. And this is sort of an idea of where low temperatures will settle, especially in the southern part of the state. We're down to 67 now, Tweed, New Haven, 63 and Chester 65 in Putnam right now 63 in Salisbury and 62 in Waterbury visibility is great though here's the view on our ICAM in Rocky Hill we can still see the Hartford skyline here and the view on our ICAM in New Haven things are much quieter on I-95 right now uh, compared to what we saw earlier this evening as temperatures continue their downward trend again bottoming out in the upper 50s along the shoreline it'll be a great day tomorrow if you have an early tea time plenty of sunshine whatever you want to do tomorrow outdoors you're good to go. Get back and get out there rather and enjoy it. Temperatures inland back into the 80s at the shoreline will likely see highs in the 70s, except for southeastern Connecticut could even be in the upper 60s, 69 Mystic, 70 Niantic. We're looking at 74 in Old Saybrook, 73 in Madison, 76 Branford, Milford, UV index of eight. So keep the sunscreen close by. High tides tomorrow, late morning, early afternoon. The chance for wet paws will certainly increase a little bit Sunday, but quite a bit on Monday with our next chance for more uh, substantial rain. First Lord Futurecast even showing that the, the latest model runs. Not very enthusiastic about that shower chance tomorrow night. In the pre-dawn hours Sunday and in, into, say, about sunrise Sunday, we could see just a couple of brief showers and perhaps a couple of pop-ups redevelop later in the afternoon. But that could be more of an issue to our north. And then Monday is where things certainly become a bit wetter. The European model and the American model differentiating on when those showers really develop on Monday morning. Either way, we're expecting mostly cloudy skies. However, both models do show a more substantial chance for rain as we get into the afternoon. Here's Monday, 4 p.m. By 9 p.m. Monday, we start to see some of these yellows in the mix indicating the return of heavier rainfall uh, during the second half of the day on Monday. So tonight we're in the 50s statewide. Tomorrow back into the 80s inland, 70s along most of the shoreline, some upper 60s in southeastern Connecticut. And on the first Lord seven-day forecast, just an isolated shower Sunday morning. We don't really expect a big impact with inland temperatures in the 80s, both Saturday and Sunday, 70s along the shoreline. And for Memorial Day itself, this is your first alert to keep the WFSP weather app handy to track rain showers that are developing. That will uh, certainly, of course, have impacts on parade plans across the state. Tuesday, briefly dry temperatures spiking back up by shower by Wednesday, rather showers return. And then look at that Thursday, unseasonably cool highs only in the 60s. So you sound a little too excited about about that uh, it, it, you know it's different <laughs> it it's is. changed yeah that's right <laughs> all right mike thank you and thank you so much for watching don't go to bed just yet friday night frenzy is up next have a great night